Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can insert the cross tab into our crystal report, how we can sort the data, how we can hide it, how we can set the different grid options and then how we can create a chart out of your cross tab. So, I will go to the remote desktop where I have the tool. Here, if I go to the insert tab, I have this option of inserting the cross tab. If I go here, it will ask me to add the data to the column, row and then what value I want to show. Let's say if I want to show the store name in each state and here I will select the store name. Here I will select the city. So what I want, I want to show the distinct count of store name by state and then by the city. I'll click on insert and then it will ask me where I have to insert it. So let's say if I want to insert it in the report footer. So here I can see that it is added, this cross tab is added into my report. So cross tab is used to display the data that is grouped or totaled in two directions. It shows the data in a very compact form which makes it easier to understand and see the trend in the data. For example, like if you want to see the quantity sold by the customer in a particular region without cross tab, it shows the data in the spread out form. So, if you use the cross tab, it will show the data properly. So, you can add the multiple number of attributes in the rows and columns by clicking on the plus sign. So, let's say if I go here, if I select it and if I go to the edit cross tab, here in the cross tab, if I want to add more attributes to the columns, I can simply click on add and I can add the more attributes. Similarly, I can add more attributes to the rows and the total as well. Now, in the general properties, I can, if I want to hide it, I can hide it. If I want to set up the x axis and the y axis, then we can do that. After that, if I go to the advanced, here I can set up the name of the cross tab, the tooltip text, then the CSS name and the, if I want to set up any hyperlink, I can set up here. In the appearance, I can set up the border, the left border, right border, top and the bottom border, what should be the color of it, what should be the effect of it and whether I want to show the cell margins or not into the cross tab. Then we have the different grid options. So, whether I want to display the totals top to bottom or left to right and then in the rows, whether I want to indent the row labels, whether I want to repeat the row labels, whether I want to row totals on the left, I, if I want to hide the empty rows, if I want to hide the row grand totals. So, all these options for the rows and the columns I can set into the grid options. Then if I want to do any advanced calculations, so I can just add the custom calculations for my cross tab. Now, if I want to set up the particular value of the column of the cross tab, I can simply select only the column and then I can go to the format cross tab column. Similarly, now if I go back and select my chart, if I right click here, so here if I want to sort the values, so I can clip click on the sort and it is asking me whether I want to sort the values by row group or by the column group. So if I want to apply it by the row group, it will click on this and it will add a sort by city. Similarly, if I go back here, if I right click here, I can also create a chart from the cross tab data. Let's say if I want to create a chart from it. So here it has inserted the chart here if I go to the data, it is showing me the state and the distinct count of store name. If I go to the page mode here, it must have created a chart based on this cross tab data. So now I can see the chart on the basis of this cross tab data and then the cross tab below as per the requirement. Now let's say if I want to delete this chart because I don't need it and if I again select my cross tab and right click on it. So here I can also create a pivot based on this data. Let's say if I click on this, so automatically it has created a pivot based on my cross tab. Now, if I want to move it, 
I can if there are more than one element in your report footer so you can move it up and down based on your requirement then if you want to delete this cross tab you can simply click on this delete and it will delete your cross tab from the report and you can again resize your report footer so that it should look nice so I can scroll down and I can move it up so that it should show it with the proper size so in this tutorial we have seen how we can add the cross tab how we can format the cross tab how we can edit it how we can create a pivot based out of it and then we have seen how we can create a chart based on the cross tab layout thank you